Welcome to Holistic Healing with Elsie. I'm Elsie, and today I'm bringing you all my very first pick a card reading. So I've been practicing tarot for some time, and I love the process of co-creating with the universe, uh, with myself, and with the reader. And I found such amazing synchronicities with all of the pick a card readings that I've participated in um, on YouTube. So I finally felt like it was the right time for me to create my own pick a card reading so that I could help assist and heal and um, just provide some type of guidance to you all. So in today's pick a card reading, I wanted to start off on a lighter topic, a light note. And today I asked Spirit, what is the viewer's best quality? What makes them so attractive to everyone else? What's your best self? So that's what I asked Spirit today. And Spirit led me to create three piles, as you see here. Uh, the first pile, I have a Jasper stone on top of it. On the second pile, we have a sodalite stone. And for the third pile, I have a rose quartz. So if you're not familiar with the pick a card reading, you're going to use your intuition to guide you to whichever pal resonates with you the most. So uh, take the time out right now to close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and really listen and tune into your intuition to see which pal or which number or which stone just really grasps you. Whichever one just you feel has the answers for you. So if you need to, um, go right ahead and pause the video. Just make sure to listen to your intuition so that it can guide you to the pow that you need to hear. And let me also preface this reading. Uh, this is a general reading, so everything might not resonate with you. But take what does resonate with you and just leave everything else to the side. Because this is a general reading and it's not going to be 100% on the target for everybody. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. And I should have the timestamps below in the description box. So after your intuition has guided you to whichever pile you like, make sure to check the description box so you can jump straight to your message. Okay, let's get into it. We're going to start with pile one. So if you chose pal number one with the Jasper Stone, this message is for you. So I have three tarot cards and I also have um, some cards that I wrote out some um, descriptive words on that I just randomly placed on each pile and they'll also give you some um, descriptive qualities to what is your best self what's your best qualities why are people so attracted to you so let's see what we have Ooh, interesting interesting so let's see I'm gonna lay these out for y'all and then we're gonna get right into it so we have the Magician. We also have the Hanged Man. And then we have the Ten of Cups. And for your um, three descriptive qualities, we have Humorous, 
as well as radiant and passionate. So I love that. That's awesome. So group one, um, we have the magician, right? So I can definitely tell that you're resourceful. The magician has all of his tools right here. He has his cup, his pentacle, his sword, his wand. He has all the tools that he needs to create whatever he wants to create. So you're extremely creative and you can create a way out of practically nothing, right? <laughs> Um, from the magician, I'm also getting that you're abundant in beauty. Um, I see that from all the beautiful floral um, that's decorated all around the magician. And you also know how to go with the flow and the cycles of life. With the infinity, the infinity sign is the flow of life. And you know how to go with the flow of life, the cycles of life. Um, let's see. So with the hangman, I'm going to hear that, well, yeah, you know how to go with the flow. <laughs> you definitely know how to go with the cycles of life. You're a chill person. Um, relax. People love that you're relaxed and chill. And you may even find yourself in, um, some precarious situations. I mean, you see the hangman. That's definitely a, a situation to be in. But... If you look at him, he doesn't look stressed or fearful or anxious. He has like a serene look on his face. So you chill and relax. And even if you do get in like some type of unfortunate situation, you know how to use the tools that you have to get yourself out of out of that situation and people love that about you you're extremely resourceful and you're a magical person <laughs> you create just like that you create out of nowhere um and i'm getting from the hangman that you may even like a little danger <laughs> and that's fine that's perfectly fine people love that spark about you they love that you like to live life on the edge uh, and that's beautiful if you ask me. So from the Ten of Cups, you are the life of the party. Look at these children down here dancing and just having a merry, old, good time. Um, joyful. You have such a joyful, positive spirit about you. Uh, you're, you're the life of the party, like I said. And with these cups, you have ten cups. Ten cups of abundance. You're extremely abundant. And you don't mind giving out um, that great, positive, joyful spirit and energy that you have. And you give it, will, you give it willingly. <laughs> I can't talk right now, but you give it out um, so freely. And people love that joyful, carefree spirit that you have. So um, right here passionate you're extremely passionate and that goes so well with the ten of cups you know you're passionate about life you're passionate about um yeah you're passionate about life love and liberty you have a radiant spirit a joyful spirit and you're humorous you're the life of the party you're the person who's going to go in and tell all the jokes and get everybody riled up and ready to have a good time this is a excellent group you are so extremely attractive you're abundant um you're magical you have all the tools and resources people love you for that so if you picked Pile number one, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. What a person you are. So that is all that I have for you. Uh, if you pick pile number one, thank you so, so much for tuning into my first reading. And I will see you on my next pick a card reading. Have a great day. So moving on to group number two. If you pick group number two, you chose the sodalite stone and this message is for you. So let's get right into it. 
So I have three tarot cards, and then I also wrote out um, some descriptive words that I placed randomly on each pile. So let's see what we have. Oh, wow. <laughs> How beautiful, 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 beautiful. Ooh. I'm getting a lot of great energy from pile number two. So let's see what we have. We have the sun. Oh, we have the sun. We also have the queen of wands. And the nine of cups. And for your three descriptive words, we have intelligent, loyal, and lastly, honest. So if you chose group number two, I am seeing right off the top that you are extremely abundant. Um, I see that from the Nine of Cups. This in the Tarot is the Wish card. So you're abundant with your cups. And this being the Wish card, you're extremely lucky. <laughs> you're extremely lucky. And out of nowhere, you tend to get whatever you want. You tend to get your wishes. Your wishes come true and people love that. They love how lucky that you are. You bring luck to other people's life. Yeah, definitely. And you're content and secure with yourself too. I'm also getting that from the Nine of Cups because if you look at the gentleman, I mean, he, he just looks content. He's secure. He has all of his cups, all of his possessions right there behind him. He has everything that he needs. He He's not wanting for a thing. He says, yeah, I have this. I have this. I'm securing myself. I'm content in myself and what I have and what I have to offer the world. And that's amazing, guys. That truly is. <clears throat> so from the Queen of Wands... Um, I can tell that you are fiery, you are passionate about life, and you're active. You like to be active, whether that's, um, you know, if you like to play sports or just go outside and um, getting out to nature, you're one with nature, definitely. You have a way with nature, and you also have a way with animals. I can see that from this um, little tiny black cat here. You are... Um, you're a lover of animals and also, I mean, with all of the sunflowers, we have sunflowers right here. And then also in the sun, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, four sunflowers present. Um, you definitely like nature. And when you go outside into nature, um, it calms you. It relaxes you. You probably have a green thumb also. So this pile feels like, I feel like a lot of artists, a lot of creative people pick this, um, especially with the sun and the queen of wands. I'm definitely getting a lot of creative energy here. Um, so you're extremely artistic. Um, you probably love to create in some form, some way, shape or form. You are an artist. You are a creative and I'm getting a lot of beauty, a lot of beauty, um, physical beauty at that. So you're a beautiful person on the outside and, of course, on the inside because inner beauty is far more important and far more attractive than outer beauty. But I can't deny that you're a beautiful person here. I mean, look at um, the sun. Look how joyful and merry and happy this card is. That's your spirit. This is your spirit. You're so joyful. You're happy. You bring just a big burst of energy to people's lives. They love you for that. They adore you for that burst of energy. Um, you probably also have a perpetual smile on your face. You're what people will, <laughs> will refer to as happy-go-lucky. 
always smiling, always happy. Um, you have just a cheerful disposition. You know, you're the sun. You you exemplify the sun energy. I'm trying to tell you, this is your spirit. Oh, that's such a beautiful card to get. Love it. Um, so not only do you have, I mean, we've already covered that you have a lot of physical beauty, but um, you also like for your environment to be harmonious and beautiful. So you you like to have a beautiful environment. You know how to make a beautiful environment. That goes right in hand with your create your creative spirit, your artistic spirit. You love to make a, um, everything around you harmonious and beautiful. And you're charismatic. You're extremely charismatic and vibrant. And you have a magnetic quality that just attracts people straight to you. How can you not be attracted to the sun? <laughs> and let's see. People love you also because you're intelligent. You have a lot of intelligence to you, and you're loyal. They admire the loyalty that you exemplify and the honest qualities. Oh, this is an excellent group to have chosen. If you chose group number two, your energy and your spirit, I feel it, is vibrating through these cards. Yes. So that's all that I have for group number two. Thank you so much for tuning in to my very first pick a card reading. And I'll see you on my next pick a card reading. <laughs> so have a great day. See you next time. If you chose group number three with the rose cards, this message is for you. So let's get right into it. So we have three tarot cards for you. And I also wrote out some descriptive cards, some descriptive words, and I placed them randomly on each pile. So let's see what we have. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. And for our three words, let's see. So we have the Hierophant. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune. And for your three descriptive words, we have creative, fun, and kind. Mm. So let's get right into it. So right off the bat, I'm seeing that this group is wise. You're extremely wise and intelligent, and you are a leader. You are a leader, definitely. Um, right here, you see this elderly gentleman. Yes, and then you have the Hierophant. And from the, elder, the elderly gentleman, the Hierophant, I'm getting that you're a leader, and you're wise, and... People look to you for your inner wisdom, and they look for you to lead. So you lead with your in, inner wisdom. And you also lead with a high level of intellect from this will of fortune. Um, this will of fortune also means that you're lucky. You're definitely lucky. <laughs> and uh, if you see right here, all around, all around the card, you see these... Uh, animals reading and studying and writing and you know just 
and somehow obtaining knowledge. So you're knowledgeable, you're very intelligent, and you use your intellect and you also use your inner wisdom that you have to guide and lead people. And that's why people love you. That's what makes you so attractive to people. You're extremely smart. You're extremely studious. You like to read books. You love to soak up information. You soak up you soak up information like a sponge. And you're a cerebral person. Um, like I said, people look to you like an authority figure. And you lead um, with your intellect. And you also lead with that inner wisdom. I'm also getting that you're a balanced person. So, you know, I've been harping on how you're wise and you're intelligent, but you're also balanced in that you know how to have fun and you know how to um, create. You're fun and creative and you're a kind person. And a great leader knows when to lead with kindness. You know, it's a balance there. You, you lead with kindness and then you lead with severity. And you know that balance. So that's excellent. That's a, um amazing attribute to have, to be balanced. And I'm getting that from the higher fan end. You see the two pillars of balance and then you see right here you have these two keys on this chest this box so you have the keys to unlock life's mysteries for people you know they come to you and they look for answers and you have the keys to unlock those answers so uh, like I was also saying with the creative I'm seeing right here that um, you know, you love to read, you're extremely studious, but you're also creative. So a part of you might enjoy writing short stories, short stories, like creative short stories. I'm getting that vibe, definitely. You're honest. You're honest and loyal. People know that about you. People can feel your honesty. People can feel your loyalty right here. The elderly gentleman has these two dogs coming up to him and he's petting them. And you know, dogs are man's best friends. They're loyal creatures. And those dogs feel the loyalty from the elderly gentleman. And that's the same way people feel your loyalty. They feel your honesty. And that's what you lead with. So if you chose group number three, this is an excellent group to have chosen. You have so many amazing attributes, so many amazing qualities. You are extremely intelligent. You're so smart and studious. You're these this group here, if you chose this, you are the epitome of a leader and you lead with honesty you lead with intellect you lead with wisdom you lead with truth and honor and you know how to be balanced you know when to um to study and to gain more knowledge but you also know how to have fun and be creative so that's an amazing quality to have to be balanced um yeah this is beautiful. So if you chose group number three, that's what I have for you today. So thank you so much for tuning into this pick a card reading and I'll see you on my next one. Have a great day.